Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to go over uh, bonds and we basically want to figure out to see if bonds are a good investment. Um, so let's get straight into it. Uh, so I'm using my Fidelity investment platform here and I went to news and research and I clicked on bonds and it took me to this landing page here. Um, so, so basically, uh, you know, I'm making this video in January of 2021 and, you know, we're, we're, we're going through the coronavirus pandemic still, but for the last, um, I want to say for the last 10 months, you know, the Federal Reserve has have kept interest rates low and they've also increased quantitative easing. So they're buying bonds and the banks are issue, are, are injecting money into the economy. So here, here we can get a sense of what the current rates are for different types of bonds. So like, for example, you see U.S. Treasury bonds are, are yielding 1.6% for a 20-year bond. Uh, AAA corporate bonds are 2.3%. If you go, you know, a little bit more riskier with these B, you get 4%. And then you have municipal bonds that are trading at or yielding 1.7% for a 20-year so, so uh, uh, basically, like the way you can measure and see if these are good investments is you you want to see what the annual inflation rate is, and, and typically, you know, inflation goes up, you know, two to three percent on an annual basis, and so per you know, so so it, basically, you want to be able to find bonds that offer a higher interest rate that is higher than the inflation rate. So you can see that these bonds are actually yielding pretty low. And that's the thing with bonds is bonds are have become a, a unattractive investment for many investors because they're just not able to make enough return just to even um, outpace inflation. So they're having to look into riskier assets like investing in the U.S. stock market, like stocks and also international stocks just to be inflation. Um, so now now vice versa, let's say that, you know, two, three years ago, you were able to lock in a bond at three percent. Your, your bond value has now gone up because the interest rate has gone down. So, for example, if we just use the example that uh, a bank lends money at 3%, so basically what, what will happen is if, if, if a bank lends money at 3%, they're basically counting on, on making 3% return on the money that they lend you. But if you pay back the, the loan uh, earlier than expected, then they would now have to reinvest that money into the current interest rate environment, which if we take this example, it'll be 1.6%. Um, so, so if you have bonds where you have a high uh, interest rate, you, you want to think about a couple of things. You, you want to think about, is it a good time for you to sell because your bonds are now worth more? Or maybe you just want to hold on to your bonds and, and, and benefit from the higher interest rate because you know that if you sell the bonds you have and you buy these newer bonds selling at 1.6 you're going to get a lower rate of return uh, or a lower interest rate per se so so again it, it really just depends the the timing in when you buy the bonds um, because you can get bonds i remember i got some bonds at three percent for a for a 20 actually for a 30 year uh, bonds and that's great because you see that here now it's 1.8 so if you're able to capture get some bonds at a high interest rate they could be a good investment because uh, especially if you combine it with uh, overall diversified portfolio, bonds will actually uh, minimize or I should say lower the, volatil the volatility of your portfolio uh, because there's, they're not as volatile as stocks. Op stocks go up and down you know, on a daily basis versus bonds, they're not as uh, volatile. So if you have high interest rate bonds in a, in a diversified portfolio, Maybe it makes sense to hold on to them, um, but if you want to, you know, if you want to take advantage of the, the bond prices being higher because we're now in a low interest rate environment, then maybe you want to sell the bonds and invest your money in something else. Um, however, if you don't hold any bonds at the moment and you're thinking about investing in bonds, um, you know, my, right now might not be the time just because uh, these interest rates are just not attractive. Now we are in 2021. It's it's possible that the Federal Reserve can raise interest rates in year 2022 and in year 2023. So maybe there will be a more favorable time uh, to buy bonds. But personally, I can tell you from a personal experience that I had uh, last year when we first heard of the coronavirus, the stock market dropped, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent. And in some industries even went down 60 to 70 percent. 
So I saw that as a really great buying opportunity. And, and because the stocks went down, um, you know, and the Federal Reserve was buying bonds, that actually increased. And, and actually, I had a higher interest rate bonds, too. So as the interest rates went down, the value of my bonds went up. So what I decided to do was I decided to sell my bonds so that I can capture that gain. And I took the money that I sold from the bonds and I actually bought some U.S. stocks and international stocks at a discount because everything was on sale. Um, and so now, you know, fast forward one year later, I have a portfolio that is composed of only U.S. and international stocks and I have almost zero bonds. And so now, you know, I'm looking to see where else I can put my money uh, because the market seems, I mean, I don't want to say it's overvalued, but it definitely feels that way. And it feels like stocks are really expensive now because stock prices have gone up dramatically since the since the crash in March. And now I'm trying to figure out what, where is the best way that I can uh, invest my money. And it's definitely not going to be in these bonds unless... Uh, the Federal Reserve begins to raise interest rates uh, next year. So I'm kind, of, I'm kind of taking a wait and see approach and I'm basically uh, saving up some cash and um, I'm, I even started to look into individual stocks to try to see if I can find some you know decently priced stocks compared to everything else. And, and that's kind of where I'm at. So I, I think the answer to our question is, are bonds good investment? It really depends on, on the interest rates that are currently being offered and also the state of the economy and what the Federal Reserve is, is doing uh, to stimulate or, or basically influence the, the market. Um, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I appreciate if you like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you.